Hey, what's going on? I thought I'd do a uh, kind of a test video. I normally don't do these. I do tests, but I don't really uh, film them. Today I filmed this one. Um, I have this K100D, which I'm selling actually. It's on. I'll share a link below if you want to buy it for 80 bucks with this lens. It's an old school six megapixel camera. That's really, uh, it's really nice for 80 bucks. You can't beat that. But anyway, so. Um, I was going to compare the sensors from this to the K70 because uh, the, this has a CCD sensor and the K70 has a CMOS sensor. Um, just kind of comparing the two with a simple test shot. I grabbed a bunch of colorful stuff around around the basement here and just uh, made a little generic product shot um, to see if we saw an actual difference because a lot of people love these CCD sensors because they think or say that there's um, a difference in color. So we're going to see, test that um, and see if there is actually a difference in that. So let's get right down to it. Let me, let me uh, first say that these these shots are taken at the same millimeter. I can't remember exactly. I'll have to look it up. But the millimeter. But uh, they were F8 at ISO 200. So um, and at one sixth, one sixth of a second exposure on these. So exact same. Um, putting on a tripod. Now look at these. Uh, I'm not going to tell you which one is which right off the bat. JPEG's neutral, neutral picture style. Which is which? I'll give you a second to, to, to look at these. Here's the first one and the second one again. Is there a difference? Do you see anything in there? A little color difference. There's a lot. I grabbed stuff with a lot of color to kind of see if, if, if we noticed a difference there. But I mean... $80 camera versus what is this $576 new um, if you're doing something with a lot of light and you've got everything set up right are you seeing a difference there <laughs> pretty crazy huh um, so yeah uh, the lens I have on here I, I forgot to say is uh, 80 to or 20 to 80 uh, the Tacumar F autofocus lens um, I'll leave a video where I did this, a test with this and several other kit lenses, old school uh, kit lenses. I'll leave the link to that in the description below so you can check that out. This one I thought was the, the, the clear winner. But, um, okay, so you're saying, oh, well, that was JPEG. We need to look at RAW files. So, uh, PEF RAW files. Okay, so let's, let's do that now. Um, yeah. So here we go. Now I had to I had to throw these into my editor because my my video editor wouldn't uh, take wouldn't take a PDF file. So I converted them to TIFFs and threw them in the video or maybe JPEGs. I hadn't done it yet <laughs> uh, to to see the difference and didn't do any editing in Lightroom. Just dropped them in and processed them or converted them. Um, you see any difference here at all? Okay. <laughs> now, uh, last not but not least, you're saying this is six megapixels, and that's 24 megapixels on the K70. Well, the K70, um, uh, we'll look at that. Now, I, I'm, I marked the uh, K70 down to six megapixels on the, the format of the JPEG, and we'll see if there's a difference here. Same thing. Can you see a difference? And granted, these are all going through my video editor and then they're going up on YouTube in any of my videos I, if I'm showing shots like this I suggest you try to watch them on a high-res monitor not on your phone most of the videos uh, that people watch of mine are watched on their phone so try to look at it on a little bit better monitor so you could see but um, as you can see there's not much difference at all you could get a camera for eighty dollars as long as it's not low light you set up your shots you could get fantastic shots with this camera Eighty dollars versus what five seventy five for the the K seventy. Um, I don't know what else to say. Is there anything that that I did that you think I could do better in this video as far as testing these two cameras? I'm not I, obviously I'm not doing low light. I'm just trying to test the colors here and that I could I could you know this thing would tear apart if I went very high ISO on that. But um, 
as far as showing off these colors and whatnot, what, what else could I do better? Uh, if you have a suggestion, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe. I'll have uh, some more videos coming up. Thanks.